My name is Baby Nikki. My name is Sweet. Uh, well, my childhood, I grew up in a military family, so I've always moved around, and moving around from state to state was hard to keep friends. So gaming has helped a lot with that because obviously you can connect through people just all over the world, and it doesn't have to be an in-person interaction. We met purely online. I had followed Nikki for a while. Like we knew each other from the uh, H1Z1 scene, but we weren't friends back then. Um, but we had uh, brushed past before. We were e-daters, um, e-dating on Twitter. Then we decided to meet up in Mexico for our birthdays, because our birthdays are one day apart. One thing led to another, and we were living with our parents at the time. And meeting, meeting up for the first time at someone's parents' house is always kind of awkward, especially for a long distance relationship. So we were just like, you know what? Let's go to Mexico. And she took her a while to trust me with that because we hadn't met in person yet. <laughs> we did some convincing. We met in the Atlanta airport, traveled down to Cancun, and it was what started our amazing relationship. So I started getting into content creation during high school. The things that were my main motivators while creating content and just starting out were my parents. High school was a little rough for me. I went through a little bit of depression and some life problems. Um, and gaming has really helped me get through that to kind of like take my mind off of those things. It's what I love doing. Um, so kind of a distraction. And I would just watch a bunch of different streams and see how much fun they would have. Um, and the very competitive gamers I enjoyed watching too, which is where I think I get a lot of my competitiveness from. Hit this guy, hit this guy, hit this guy. Nice. Yo, is your back hurt? Cause yeah, we gotta just fight Cloud9. Yeah, Seven five bucks, they spawn! Up the car! Last guy, last guy! Nice. Combat Watson. Combat Watson. Oh, you are terrible. <laughs> So Jamie our GM has this really incredible ability to find talent right before they're about to blow up, especially the ones who are super competitive. At a young age, I started watching Counter-Strike and I just fell in love with the competitive scene in that game. So pretty much every game that I tried to play in, I tried to kind of bring back to what I learned in that competitive scene in CSGO and kind of build from there. Our Apex team was, you know, kind of stagnating a little bit. We didn't really have a true IGL. Sweet was currently on Rogue, I believe. His team was kind of dissolving. So we decided to, to make a run at him and we you know brought him on. I joined alongside Rocker and Nathan and they gave me the opportunity to become their in-game leader for Apex and I still am to this day. My one big moment that really kind of helped me start Accelerate and see more success was getting raided by bigger streamers and one in particular was Lulu Lovely. People that I've looked up to, like I mean like Lulu, she's like, Picture perfect image of a, a woman streamer, in, in my opinion. She's great. She's one of my good friends. Um, but after that host, I started seeing about a, a double increase in my viewership. Hi, Rachel. Oh, thank you, love. How are you? Mel, thank you for the 20 months. Is opening gifts for my, my wonderful Monty. In my eyes, there is one reason we signed Baby Nikki. And it's super obvious. And a lot of people have probably guessed it but it's because she's a badass. Okay. Breathe one. I just keep fired. Oh, and Nikki really caught our eye just with how skilled she was. Um, I actually got to spend some time with her as well at a bunch of Apex lands. Got to see how genuine and passionate she was about gaming and streaming. I think it's safe to say she's also one of the best female Apex players in the world, and that's no small feat. So to add a creator of that caliber to our roster, it was, uh, it was kind of a no-brainer. <laughs> Thank you, I love you. I'm ugly crying. <laughs> Seeing more viewers and Bigger streamers rating me as well, just seeing more people in chat was very surreal. It's after you work for something for so long and you finally start to see it pay off and the numbers show and everything, it's it's just such a sigh of relief and it's like, wow, I did that. You know, you just have to grind those hours off stream 
to become the best, to be able to compete amongst the best. But when you're in it, you shouldn't be wanting to take days off. You know, when you're in the grind and you're pursuing something you love, you should be, you know, sad when you have to take a day off. And that's the ex exact moment that I felt like I was really doing something I was passionate about. I've been enjoying solo queuing. I don't know. It's pretty fun, not gonna lie. Like when you lose, when you lose of a, a full team of my friends and we're all pro players, I think, wow, we f***ing suck, we just lost. But when I'm solo queuing and I'm playing with two people I've never met that are in platinum, every time we win or do well or win a fight, I think, wow, let's f***ing go. So, you know, it's good. It's kind of fun. Being a content creator, we face many obstacles. Balancing work, school, and content creation was very difficult because you felt like you never had enough time to do all of it. So our schedules um, are great for streaming and numbers and uh, doing well on Twitch and YouTube, but terrible for a relationship. <laughs> and that's something that we've come to find. Luckily, we love each other enough to work through it, but many days I'm waking up, brewing a cup of coffee when Nikki's laying down, going to bed. Getting ready to go to sleep, yeah. Yeah, so it's, it's, a hard, it's hard to balance. But living together has definitely been a lot better. We have time for each other, and even if we don't, we just open the door, say hey, and then move on and see each other tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you. I love you. Don't kiss me. I'm sick. Mm. Nope. I'm probably ready to. As a competitive player, being a, a top rated player in a very popular game has its benefits. You know, it's nice to be amongst the best in a game that has a lot of people trying to be good. Attending champs, his big tournaments, I get to meet a lot of the players and a lot of the other content creators who show up. Of course, I was able to come here to the castle and meet some pretty cool people here. Being a popular streamer opens the doors for so many things in life and meeting so many people that I've looked up to for years and now calling them my friends has been a surreal experience and attending events where there's people that I laid in bed growing up watching on YouTube who I see there and they know my name. And it's an insane experience and it, yeah, it really does leave you speechless. It's hard to put into words. The people who want to do what we do and create content, I would tell them just to focus on yourself and not really worry about the accomplishments and achievements of the people around you. Just focus on yourself, work on yourself, work on your brand. And sometimes the things that will make you uncomfortable are the things that are good for you. Sometimes you need to step out of your comfort zone and grind. I think that baby Nikki, she's an incredible content creator and ever since she has signed to Energy, she has used that momentum streaming every day, building her community and I just think that she is going to continue to explode into one of the biggest creators in the space. The word grind is thrown around a lot, but knowing what to grind for, you know, grinding whatever your niche is, whatever makes you different from other people and you know, separating yourself from others is where you're going to see the most success. Before joining Energy, Sweet streamed a little bit. I think since joining Energy, uh, he's put a lot more focus on it, and I think the Energy platform itself is, has helped him a lot. So his numbers have just uh, exploded. He's become, you know, one of the biggest Apex streamers out there. He's gonna die. He's gonna die. Stay there. Stay there. Stay there. Nice! Let's go! It just felt like all of a sudden I looked up and the kid has like 20,000 concurrent viewers. I know there's a lot in between there, but this kid got signed to us, competed at an incredible level, and uh, he just exploded. Oh my god. The phrase hustle on means to keep your head down, grind, do what you gotta do, but in a very respectful manner and as honest as possible. So the phrase hustle on I think captivates kind of just the mentality of becoming involved in esports. Uh, you know, a hustle is both something that you are attached to and are doing actively, but also something that you can change when you need to. So, you know, being able to adapt on the fly and changing with the times is really important. And, you know, hustling is definitely the embodiment of esports. I think I'm married. This the end of If you reckon with it, put your hands up.